In this video, we're going to simplify the expression 3x to the negative 2, y to the 5th, z cubed, times 6x to the negative 6th, y to the negative 2nd, z to the negative 3, all over 9 times the quantity of x squared, y to the negative 2, to the negative 3. And then the entire expression is raised to the negative 3 power. Keeping in mind order of operations as a guide, we will work through our exponent properties. Also, we will take care of our negative exponents immediately after using our power rules. Order of operations tells us to start inside the parentheses, and inside those parentheses, we'll first start with a power rule, taking that negative 3 through the smaller parentheses. As we do, the numerator is still the same, 3x to the negative 2, y to the 5th, z cubed, times 6x to the negative 6th, y to the negative 2nd, z to the negative 3rd, all over 9, x to the power of a power rule says to multiply the exponents, negative 6th, y to the positive 6th, and then the entire thing is still to the negative 3. Now we're ready to simplify inside the parentheses the numerators. Oh, actually, before that, after the power rules, we should be taking care of negative exponents. So let's look at what has a negative exponent. x to the negative 2, x to the negative 6th, y to the negative 2, z to the negative 3, and x to the negative 6. Each one of those parts needs to move. As we do, what's left in the numerator is a 3, y to the 5th, z cubed, times 6, and then we moved an x to the negative 6 up, making it x to the positive 6. Over, in the denominator, we had a 9 and a y to the 6th, and then we moved down an x squared, an x to the 6th, a y squared, and a z cubed. All of this is still to the negative 3 power. Now that we've taken care of the negative exponents, we can continue simplifying the fractions in, in the numerator and the denominator. As we simplify the numerator, 3 times 6 is 18, and putting things in alphabetical order, we have x to the 6th, y to the 5th, z cubed. Over, we have a 9, and then sticking with alphabetical order on the x's, the power of a... I'm sorry, the product rule says we can add the exponents. 2 plus 6 is 8. On the y's, we add the exponents. 6 plus 2 is 8, and then we also have the z cubed. And the entire thing is to the negative 3 power. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to move over here to the right side as we continue working. Next, we're ready inside the parentheses still to use the quotient rule to simplify. 18 over 9 reduces to 2 in the numerator, where the 18 was. When we get to the x's and we subtract the exponents, 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Because it's negative, that tells me to move my answer of x squared down into the denominator. This makes sense, as there are more in the denominator when we reduce, the leftover should be in the denominator. Similarly, 5 minus 8 is negative 3, so we put the y cubed in the denominator. 3 minus 3, though, is 0, and anything to the 0 power is 1, so technically the z's are dividing out completely, and we just have 2 over x squared y cubed to the negative 3 power. We simply have to take care of that negative 3 power, which I like to do in two steps to keep me from making an error. One step, I take care of the negative. A negative exponent makes a reciprocal, so I will move the x squared y cubed up and the 2 down, and now it's a positive exponent. We can put that positive exponent on each factor, multiplying exponents to end up with x to the 6th, y to the 9th, over 2 cubed, which is 8, our final answer.